guys. I uh, thought I'd bring you a little replay. The uh, lighter side of Clan Wars. Um, we had a little province that had a revolt on us that wasn't connected to the rest of our uh, provinces, so we decided to Move you know, just go you know, M60s for the most part. We had a couple guys that didn't have them, so they just brought uh, their 254s. And just uh, derp rush it. Um, as you can see, we're just going all in on this water side towards the little town around Delta 67. And uh, working around those buildings, that kind of urban combat, you know, close combat, is going to allow us to leverage our higher teamwork skills and uh, coordination to really, you know, bring a higher effect than is possible uh, with, you know, just a regular puppy dirt brush. So you can see, we're just, we're just taking the Z100 to bits. And uh, M60s are really quite powerful tanks, um, you know, in the hands of good drivers like we've got. It's, uh, it's quite deadly, so we're sending, you know, one force to kind of uh, go along the water side to try and get onto their cap. Unfortunately, there's E4 over there that just blocked the path, and uh, we weren't able to do that. So instead, we decided, you know, let's turn around and all get this uh, E100, kill him. Now I'm actually zooming in or not, but I'm not using this one. So I have a little trouble penetrating the E100 in front. But here we go. We're uh, we're just staying as a big group. We got a couple guys who decided to help defend base a little bit, so that's helping us out a little bit. We're just as a group leveraging our focus fire and our coordination to just DPM down all these empty tanks. Now we got a bunch of guys kind of slipping through that back road, getting on their cap. <laughs> and we're just demolishing their tanks one after another. There's nothing they can really do about this. Uh, we've decided to kind of go for the fast cap option. They're bringing back a couple of uh, T-57s here. Penetration. Not the best place for them to be. That guy just, I mean, 1,800 damage. Uh, just a few seconds. They're knocked down. We're immobilized. We didn't want to take too seriously. We wasted too much time on this battle, so we just brought in our We fixed the track. Get going. Derped into it. Um, honestly, at this point, we really could have gotten off cap and just swarmed each one of those enemy tanks one by one and take them out, lock out their tanks. But we decided, whatever, we'll just cap it out, end it quickly. We don't want to subject these guys to uh, excessive amounts of pain, cruel and unusual punishment. Obviously, they're they're a little bit miffed about the fact that we just M60 derp rushed them and uh, whooped their butts, so... Yeah, I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. Alright, so I thought you guys might also be interested in uh, taking a gander at the post-game stats here. Um, you can see that, you know, although we lost a few tanks, the derp rush with keeping that many tanks concentrated together is really able to shut down a lot of the enemy's damage. Um, you know, neither of their artillery got any shots in because we're moving around so much um, and, you know, killing them. So they didn't help much. Uh, look at those E100s and E4s that we managed to DPM them down before they were even to get, you know, more than one shot off. And most of their tanks, you know, just really weren't able to participate in the battles too much because, you know, once you get 15 tanks into one small area, they're going to be able to kill you pretty quick before you can respond effectively. Um, so the derp rush does, does work occasionally. Um, you know, good teams always plan for that derp rush. It's always a possibility and it can always catch you by surprise. It's the simplest strat, but sometimes, you know, simple is best.